This year, we're celebrating the 75th anniversary of the desegregation of the U.S. Armed Forces. Americans of all backgrounds have bravely served in the U.S. military throughout our country's history. But for far too long, black troops and other service members of color were forced to serve in segregated units. They fought in combat even as they battled discrimination at home. And finally, on July 26, 1948, President Truman ordered equality of treatment and opportunity for all persons in the armed forces without regard to race, color, religion, or national origin. You know, our military has made tremendous progress since then. Today, some 44% of our active duty force are people of color. And Americans from all walks of life serve alongside one another, and they grow as leaders, and they contribute to our military at the highest levels. You know, one of my mentors was the late General Colin Powell. He served as the first black chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. And he once said that no matter the color of your skin, the color of our guts, and the color of our courage, and the color of our blood is the same as everyone else's. Our outstanding military is the strongest fighting force on earth because it draws on the full talents of all of our citizens. That's the American way, one nation, indivisible. So on this important anniversary, let's continue the noble work of those who ended segregation. Let's hold true to the values that make America a beacon. And let's keep working together to make America stronger and safer and our world more secure.